Hi, I'm Steph King, bringing you Yin Yoga. So I'm very excited and delighted to share with you one of my favorite practices to open up my body and to rejuvenate energetically. So Yin Yoga is a still practice that takes you into a deep stretch at the deeper layers of your body, the connective tissue, ligaments, and the joint. And it really helps to open up the energy channels via the meridian points, which are the Chinese traditional medicine. So let's um, come to a comfortable seated position. And I'm so happy to have you here and share this practice with you. So welcome and thank you for being here. So you're welcome to have a couple blocks and a blanket. The, the props are optional. And if you don't have yoga props, you're welcome to use books or bath towel cushions or bed pillows. So take a moment to sit tall. Let's take a couple cleansing breaths to ground into our practice. Finding your seat by rooting into your sit bones evenly. Inhale through your nose, filling up your torso. Sigh, exhale through your mouth. <sighs> and take a couple more deep breaths in and out through your nose to your best ability without straining. As you take a couple more deep breaths, firmly root into the earth evenly with your sit bones as you feel the gravity's support, surrendering into the gravity's support. Feeling the earth supporting you and start to receive the support from beneath. And we're using this deep diaphragmic breathing to settle your nervous system to that rest and digest mode. Opening up to receive. Connecting to that lunar energy of receiving and being, which is what yin yoga is all about. So once you're settled here, take a moment to tune in. And you're welcome to set an intention for your practice. Your intention could be a simple I am statement or you can give an offering of gratitude. And then we're going to set up for our first pose. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple yin poses to offset all the tightness in the hip joints from being from sitting all day or sitting for a long period. So take a moment to bring the soles of your feet together and the feet can be close to you, far from you. You're welcome to put something under your knees for support. So again, all the support are optional. The props are optional. It just helps you to find more ease as you're holding the pose. So you can have your spine straight and lean forward if you have something going on with your spine where you're not supposed to round. Otherwise, you can just let your spine round, let the head drop. Palms can face up or down. And take a moment to make adjustments so that you can just be. Go to about 70% of your maximum capacity. Stop at that initial point of resistance. 
soften all the muscles and completely let go, surrender to gravity. The less you move, the more we can target those deeper layers of your body. You can keep your neck long or you can drop your head. You're also welcome to support your head with something. Close your eyes. Observe your natural breath. Stay in the present moment. Use your breath as an anchor to help you stay in the present moment. But if any thoughts arise, which is natural, instead of resisting the thoughts, let them just flow through. Watch your thoughts float by like you're watching clouds float by in the sky. And then gently and mindfully roll up. So because we held a pose for a while, you want to gently support your knees. Lean back, set your feet flat on the floor, and then swing your knees side to side. So you can use any movement that calls to you during the counter pose to loosen out your body from the stiffness from holding. You're also welcome to lie down and take a mini Shavasana or just sit tall and be still between the poses. So now we're going to come on to all four, setting up for next pose, dragon. We're going to be on our knees for a while, so feel free to have a couple um, towel or blanket to support your knees and just come on to all fours set your hands shoulder width shoulder over your wrists knees hip distance hips over the knees we'll do a couple rounds of cat cow you're also welcome to rock side to side make circles Coming into marauding bear. Just loosening out your body organically. This is another option for counter pose. Then we're going to step the right foot forward between your hands. I'm going to set this back a little. Slide your knee back. Press your hips forward. And if you feel like you feel enough stretch, you can just hold here. We're going to hold this for three minutes. So the key to holding longer is that you stop at that initial point of resistance. So if you're already feeling a lot here, just stay here. If you're not feeling anything, he'll toe your foot out. Diagonal. Bring your hands inside the front leg and then just start to lower down. Elbows underneath the shoulders at shoulder width. So find a sustainable spot. Again, go about 60-70% of your maximum capacity. And then as you're holding, you can always back off or you can always go deeper. If you don't need any props, you can always just go all the way down. Neck can be long. You can drop your head and feel free to close your eyes. So even if you can go all the way down, if you feel like you're straining in any way, you want to be able to relax and be in the pose instead of doing the pose. Yin yoga is all about connecting to that sense of being, letting go of your ego, and just luxuriate in the hold. 
with sweet balance between effort and ease. One more minute left. And see where you can soften. And then slowly come up. Heel toe your foot back to the center. Step back to all fours. And you can kind of go back and forth. Do the marauding bear. You're also welcome to take a child's pose and just be still. And then when you're ready, we take about 30 seconds for counter pose. Step your left foot forward, slide your right knee back, press your hips forward. Again, honor that each side is different. If you're feeling a lot here already, just hold and just be. If you're not feeling anything, then he'll toe your foot out to the left. Point your toes slightly out diagonally. And then slowly lower down onto your elbows with any props beneath you. So you can have books, pillows, or yoga blocks. Again, stopping at that initial point of resistance. Neck can be long. You can drop your head. And observe your breath. So your breath becomes an anchor to help you be in the present moment. But if that is not enough for you, if your mind is so busy that it gives you more anxiety, frustration to just observe your breath, then you can inhale so, exhale hum using a mantra. And so hum is a Sanskrit word. That means I am that I am. It's a Sanskrit mantra. I am that I am about of divine love and light. Last minute here. And this is dragon. You can even kind of gently swing your head side to side as you drop your head. So when you drop your head around in that forward fold we just did, the butterfly also helps to lubricate your joints in the spine. Again, heel toe your foot back to center. Step back to all fours. You can feel free to do some marauding bear or you can take a child's pose. Tune in and see where you need to loosen out very mindfully and gently. You don't want to go too active with this so that you don't go into the yang mode. You want to stay in the yin. And then now you're going to be setting up for Shavasana. So I'm going to roll a blanket. Again, you can use anything, cushions, bath towels, beach towels to support your knees. If you need lower back support, this is my favorite way to do Shavasana. So you can settle into your final rest. And you're also welcome to do a quick twist 
before settling in. So if you just wanna go into Shavasana, feel free to just go into it and rest and relax. Finding stillness. Or you can hug your knees into your chest and do a twist. Twisted roots, right knee on top of your left knee. Dropping your legs to your left. Open your arms out to the side. You can look to your right or just look straight. Take a couple cleansing breaths out through your mouth. Letting go of the old, inviting in the new. And then switch. Left knee on top of your right knee, twisted roots. Dropping your knees to your right. You can look to your left or look straight up. Okay, this is a great twist to open up the outer hip, outer thigh. Cleansing you from inside out. Feel free to sigh out the exhale through your mouth. Let go of all that's no longer serving you. And then come back to your center, hug your knees, gently rock side to side. And then release. Let your legs release, arms by your side, slightly away from your torso. Make any adjustments to get more comfortable. And then completely relax, surrendering the whole back body into the earth. And Shavasana is easily accessible. And you can really go into a deeper state of relaxation in Shavasana in after doing some yin pose. So take advantage and completely allow yourself to drop into that deep state of relaxation. Reminding yourself there is nothing to achieve, nothing to do. Just be here, receiving all the benefits from the efforts you put into your practice, honoring the silence, honoring stillness. See if you need longer rest. If so, you're welcome to stay here longer. As long as you need. Otherwise, if you're coming out of your rest, try to deepen and lengthen your breath. Wiggling your fingers, your toes. Make any movements to help you transition out of your rest. Now when you're ready, bend your knees and roll to your right side. Taking a moment in pseudo position. And then slowly and mindfully press up to any comfortable seated position of your choice. Sitting tall, bring your palms together at your heart center, lifting your heart as you bow down. Just giving yourself gratitude for showing up for yourself, 
today. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoy that. So after yin practice, you want to let the joints settle, let all the energy work integrate and settle into your body. And so you don't want to be doing any high impact exercise right away. Wait about an hour or so if you're planning on doing any high impact um, physical activity. So thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and evening and that you feel a little more peaceful that you can carry with you as long as you can and share and spread that peace with as many people that you come across. Mm -hmm.